Hey, it's Margie with The Asking Spot. This week, I might be grossing you out. Why would you do that? I'm sorry, but you know last week I did that uh, shelf I did, I re well, in case you missed it, I'll put a link here and there'll be a link in the description box as well. Um, it was great and I liked it and now I've got a place I want to put it in my closet. Bit weird. Uh, see, this is where it might get a little creepy for you and I apologize in advance because, um, yeah, this is the state of my closet. Ew! All right, if you've been looking away, I'll take it away. Um, <laughs> honestly, it was time, clearly, to just clean out my closet. So first things first, let's get everything out of there. Now, I would love nothing more than to have this go by in a snap. But actually, it took two and a half hours of hemming and hawing over what to keep and what to donate. What to toss was relatively easy. And I'm sure in the end, I will have kept more than I should have and probably donated one item I shouldn't have. But here I am. The big disaster, though, was the shelf. Um, it just, I was cleaning it. It fell off its holder hinges things and dropped and snapped. Uh, so yeah, gotta work out something for that. But otherwise, it's on to painting. Prepping the room before paint, taking these guys out. Not sure where I'm gonna put them, but they have to go and I gotta patch the hole. Quick tip when using any of the spackling that you might use, plastic wrap, put it down in there so air doesn't get at it and it will last a lot longer. Behind me, just some of the contents that were once in this closet. Ew. It's now trashing two rooms. Um, the plan with the painting is to do the boldest color I've ever painted anything. And it's because, what the heck? It's my closet. See if you can guess what color it's gonna be. Blue. Paint it blue. Not blue. Well, not completely blue. I'm going with a very teal is the name of the paint. As for that shelf I broke. Um, I went to the hardware store and got almost a foot wide and it's uh, I think 48 inches long. Now they have them at all sorts of varying prices. If you want it in a really cool fancy wood, like if I were doing something that was going to be out in general public, I might have tried a fancier, nicer wood. Really? Who am I kidding? I'm super cheap. I would have went with the cheap one that I did. Um, this ran me about $14, maybe 15, yeah, 15 we'll say. Um, it's perfectly fine. I had to cut it down to size, and by I, I mean my husband. So we cut it to size, and then it was a matter of sanding it, and then I decided to use a gel stain on it because that's what I had. I had this gel stain because it was on sale, it was in the mistake paint section, and I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll go for it. I have to admit, when I first started applying this, I thought, yeeks, I don't like this. So I started rubbing it off rather severely. I wasn't going to change course, though, because after all, it is just a closet shelf. It wasn't worth changing, you know, going out and buying a new stain or whatever else I'd have to do and sand it back down. Pressing on, though, it kind of grew on me and I ended up really liking it. Um, after it dried, so this is the next day, I went ahead and put a top coat of wax on it. And if I were using this shelf to say store sweaters like one might, or any other type of clothing that would just go right on top of it, after applying that wax top coat, I would have let that piece cure for probably two weeks to as long as like 30 days because I didn't want any of the wax that could you know, possibly mess with the clothing. As it would happen, I'm just gonna be putting some more boxes and stuff on it, so I'm good to go. Uh, I really liked how the shelf turned out, and honestly, I almost wish the other shelves would have broken. I kid, I kid, I don't wanna create big waste. Um, so, moving on. It, now, it's pretty easy to figure out what I was gonna do with the tall stuff. It kinda only could go one place, so in that went, and then I got to my husband's stuff, and yep, Occasionally, I am a good wife and I do listen. How nice of you. Occasionally, um, but I didn't want to mess with his stuff. So his stuff went in almost exactly the same as it was 
when I first started this. And then I went up a little bit higher and that's where my hanging stuff went for shirts and blouses and whatnot. And I know if you're thinking, oh, he doesn't get very much closet. Typical husbands. Um, no, we have a vanity and a dresser in our bedroom and his stuff is predominantly in all the drawers there. And I am not, so. Sassy. Um, but I digress. So moving on though, I went to that center tower and pretty much shoes went back in there. Uh, tip on that would be um, label if they don't already have the picture of the shoe to face outside on the box, label it, write something. So it just makes it so much easier to figure it out. Of course, those are formal shoes and I hold on to them because you know the second you get rid of them, you're gonna have a formal occasion you need them for. Other than that, I really don't wear them. Um, the baskets. These are great use for storage if you are doing like socks and stuff like that. Things that you just don't care if they're wrinkled or not. You can just pop them in there. If they get to the point where they were overflowing, which was a hint I should have taken a while ago, it might be a sign you've got too much. Um, then we move over to what started this all. It is my bookshelf. It is now my shoe shelf. It's taking care of the shoes that I do wear on a much more regular basis. And then we have got um, the shelf that broke. I love it now. Um, put that up and I, at first I was like, I'm not gonna put any big boxes. I want something that's a lot more manageable. So I took the box down, went through it and started putting it in smaller boxes. And some of the stuff I really loved, I took it out. Now, if you're thinking why, are you keeping stuff that you don't have out if it's just storage? It's sentimental. Um, we had a much larger house. Some things happen. Getting so uh, sad. Long story. But we are in a much smaller house. And then on top of it, when my mom died, I inherited just some sentimental things from her that she liked and I couldn't part with just yet. So they're in boxes. But here's my tip there. First, I did the let's just downsize the boxes, make them smaller and easier to heft around and label them super, super well. That is the most cost effective thing you can do. But then I was like, wait a minute, why do these boxes have to be plain and boring? I knew I had some empty hat boxes, uh, got them as a gift at some point and I got another little container of whatnot have fun with them they don't have to be boring so these hat boxes are now great storage as well well uh i am not gonna gross you out with the before uh, i'm just gonna say here is the after and i want to thank you so much for watching and if you're still sticking around at this point in the video could you please if you haven't done so already consider subscribing it really helps out the channel coming up next time i am going to be working on and i don't know how long this is going to take because it's kind of a big deal i'm working on a boston rocker dating myself no uh, an actual rocking chair so we'll see how that goes uh bloopers and uh, coming up next but that really massive box the biggest tip i have for that is go ahead open those things up and resort them if nothing else i mean a lot of the stuff i did take out and went oh hey this is pretty i should keep this out and i did with our, our turtle collection yeah but there was other things in that box that I just went ahead and placed them in different varieties. First, I went for just smaller, more manageable boxes that I labeled extremely well so that next time when I look at it, I'll go, oh, I know exactly what's in there and probably still leave it in the box. The shelf went in, I was super happy. Now, if I were doing this shelf with... Um, Never seen a brain freeze this bad. So much it's a little cluttered okay so it's not the largest space and get a dog hacking up excuse me you're not gonna it's a bird and a plane And, oh yeah, that's what I forgot. Oops. Behind you? Nah. <laughs>